The children at this school in rural Maryland have limited access to books, so they receive a monthly visit from this bookmobile filled with hundreds of titles not otherwise available. Librarian Cindy Rao manages the program for the Washington County Free Library of Hagerstown, Maryland. So we supplement, we basically supplement what they can get in their schools and um, give the children a lot more books. Like bulldozers? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yes. All right. Okay. We'll see you next month, okay? Okay. Okay, bye. thank you. Bye bye. Assistant librarian Becky Henson helps Rao run the bookmobile program. She says, in addition to schools, the bookmobile serves daycare centers, senior living facilities, and other places where potential readers have a hard time getting to their county's main library in the city. This is great. It's practically front door. The library even dispatches a smaller vehicle to make personal calls. Today, Rao is visiting 89-year-old Belle Greenfield. Well, I'm going to dinner and then to play cards. Oh, I got a busy day. I like mysteries, I like romance, and I like uh, some with, with some religion in them. And but they, they just bring me a variety and I'm able to read all of them. In fact, that is a claim the people of this county have been able to make since before Bell was born. Uh, Washington County was the very first book uh, book service in the United States to go to the people. We started with the book wagon, and now it's a bookmobile. Uh, we've been doing it for 103 years. The county's first librarian, Mary Titcomb, started the program. So she decided that the best thing to do would be to send, um, the if the people couldn't come to the books, she decided the books should go to the people. In a tribute to Mary Titcomb, Hagerstown antique dealers Jim and Angie Burns had a replica of the original book wagon built. I mean, the interesting thing, of course, is it all began here because Mary Titcomb was accredited here with the delivery of taking uh, books to the people. Her famous quote was, we don't wait for the man to come to the book, we take the book to the man. By 1912, the first automotive bookmobile was introduced. It would be upgraded before the decade was out, then modernized again in the 1920s, 30s, 50s, and 60s. From 1969 to 1985, this vehicle became familiar throughout the county. Today, it is the familiar bus you see here, and as for the future... And uh, there is a commitment from um, even all of our present-day politicians and um, everyone who's connected to the library to continue the service as long as we possibly can because we think it's very important that all citizens have access to books. Not a bad idea, and it all started right here. For producer George Dwyer, Jim Burtell, VOA News. <laughs>